Well, Jane and Nigel, this massive 800,000 square foot building sits vacant now, but thanks to Greenville County Council efforts, big plans are headed for the Judson community. Greenville, South Carolina was once regarded as the textile capital of the world. Well, because we had so much textile manufacturing going on right here that was indeed the center of the textile world. But outsourcing of jobs overseas transformed the textile industry in the late 1900s, and many mills sank into dilapidation and disrepair, dragging the surrounding neighborhoods down with them. Judson Mill is one of them. The more than 100-year-old building now sits vacant on a 36-acre spot. Now, that's changing. The property recently sold to a North Carolina developer who plans to renovate the site for residential and commercial use. This is an opportunity to bring all that back into vibrancy and uh, be attractive for places where people want to go and live and invest and buy homes. Brenda Westmoreland lives across the street from the mill. While excited, she's hopeful that the apartments and amenities will be affordable to people in the surrounding community. I'm buying my house, but I'm thinking about the up, the little peoples or the middle class peoples that may want one of these apartments but can't afford it. Put it where we can't afford one of them. Butch Curvin says a success story of a revitalized mill is the West Village Lofts which have contemporary design, but maintain the history and charm of the old Brandon Mill. He expects Judson Mill to share similar success. You know, the shape, the, the chimneys, the windows, all that looks authentic, uh, just like it did when they were vibrant parts of our local uh, community and economy. And plans call for office, residential, and retail space, which could include a grocery or pharmacy. It also calls for bike parking and fountains, a dog park, even a grilling area. Madeline Hackett, WIFF News 4, live in Greenville County.